Well, have you ever heard of a plant that waters itself? This morning, the South Texas gardener is here to introduce us to a type of pot that not only saves space, but also holds a separate chamber for water. Gabriel Vega joins us here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is something very unique uh, to the gardening market. Uh, what this is, is in fact something more than just a container for your plant. Uh, this is a growing system. Um, so this system utilizes uh, something called WIC uh, capability. So the WIC capability allows us to, one, plant our plant into a regular container, but it also houses a separate chamber for moisture okay. that's underneath here. And it's separated by a plate that allows the plant to sit in the container without getting wet feet. Um, wet feet is responsible for is overwatering. Basically, okay. it will start to deprive your plant of oxygen, and eventually your plant will fail. But by having uh, something like this to support those root systems, you can water the plant thoroughly, saturate everything, and any excess water will actually fall into the bottom chamber. So as the media gr uh, dries, it'll actually start to water itself and wick up the water that's held underneath it. So. If you got a busy lifestyle, you're very active, you, you can't water your plant all the time, well, this is this will buy you some room or some time to go back there and, and go ahead and water. Yeah, I was going to say this might be good for someone who's just starting out, uh, maybe gardening for the first time. That's correct. It's good for the, the, the beginner and it's good for, you know, uh, the experienced. Uh, if you have limited space, uh, there's also a added trellis that uh, is built. So as the plant grows up, you can start to set up this trellis and grow your plants vertically instead of Great. outward. So this also maximizes space if you don't have a lot of space for garden room, uh, if you've got a patio or balcony. This is one way to implement a garden without okay. so much. Uh, are there certain plants that this works best for? Yes, that's a good question. Uh, vining plants, really. Because of this trellis, uh, you're going to want to grow plants that would typically grow up, uh, vining tomato plants, uh, cucumbers, ivies, things like that. All those things that climb will take advantage of this type of system. And the trellis, not only is it collapsible, but it also expands up to uh, four feet. So uh, you'll get plenty of growing room. Better to use outdoors or indoors or both? Both. Both. It's adequately suited for both. Um, personally, though, doing a lot of indoor growing, I find that this works better outdoors because sure. of its vertical capabilities. Right. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And we want to remind you about a few farmers markets around town. The Southside Farmers Market runs today from 9 a.m. until noon over at 5800 Everhart. And there's also a downtown farmers market every Wednesday at the Arts Center.